Good morning students, this is Mr. Melendez and I'm making this video because I want to make sure that you have the ability to open any type of attachment or document that's going to be given to you by your teachers. Now, a lot of documents or anything, it could be a PowerPoint, it could be slides, it could be a PDF, are not going to be able to open in, let's say, Google Docs or Google Slides or in Google Drive. A lot of those things do not translate over very well and you have to be able to open them in its original saved form. So let me go ahead and jump in and explain to you what it is that I mean and some of the steps that you're going to have to take in order to look at a lot of the documents that we give you, manipulate them, answer those questions, save them, and then be able to upload them onto Google Classroom. So please forgive me if this video is a little long, but I want to be able to, you know, dot all my I's, cross all my T's, and make sure that you don't have uh, any questions, especially on the first day. So bear with me. I might stumble a little bit as I'm going through this video, but it's going to be super informative, and you can pause it. I, I'm going to upload this on YouTube, and you'll be able to view it, pause it, rewind it, and be able to to do the steps that I'm showing you here and since you have a screenshot of my actual computer so let's go so I'm in Google Classroom and as you can see I have all my classes set up I have here uh, Biswa Classroom and Miss Melinda I'm gonna go to these here shortly because I'm actually listed here as a student but let's go ahead and let's go to a class so I'm gonna go to this one right here social studies class 8a and I share this class with Miss Sonia. So I'm going to open it. And we've already posted assignments. So let's go ahead and look at an assignment that we've given to our students. So this is an assignment about the Dust Bowl. And part of our assignment, we've attached a video and a PDF. So let's go ahead and click on the PDF. The PDF is automatically going to be in a preview screen and I'm able to move it and kind of manipulate it. But this is a big PowerPoint. This is a big PDF. As you can see down here, it is 272 pages. I would like to download this and keep a copy of it on my computer. So what I want to do is I want to come up here. And as you can see, I have the option to print. Way too big file to print. And I have these dots in the corner that says more action. Go ahead and click on that. And you want to click the option where it says open a new window. So now it opens in a new window and now it's giving you more options. The first one that you're going to notice is up here where it says open with Google Docs. Please do not open in Google Docs. This is a PDF and what happens is when you open in Google Docs it will not translate well. When you open in Google Docs, because it's a different program, pictures might not align well. You might have missing pictures or the font might be different and might be misaligned or pages, entire pages might be missing. You want to keep whatever it is, whatever attachment that we teachers are giving you, you want to keep it in its original format. So don't use any of the options up here. Now you have more options. This is Google Drive, Printer. You want to come over here again to the dots where it says More Actions. You want to click on that. And now you have all these different ones. You want to hit Download. When you hit Download, the computer's thinking. And now, as you can see, down here in the corner, it's downloading. And it's finished. Now that you see the circle is gone, I'm able to open that up. And now I can see it. Now it's back in this window here, so I'm not going to want to look at that. However, if I minimize my, I have right here in my downloads, I have it. I have the PDF. I can take that PDF and highlight it and put it on my desktop. And now I have it. And now I can click on it. And now it opens up in Acrobat Reader, which is the proper tool or proper program to open a PDF and now I'm able to look at it I'm able to go down I'm able to 
uh, increase or zoom in and zoom out. So I'm able to manipulate this particular PDF. Let's go ahead and go back to this right here. So now I'm able to go back and I'm going to go to my screen. So let's go ahead and look at something that I'm posting for another class. And I'm going to go back here to my classes. And let me go ahead and look at 8D. This is another class that I am teaching. And right now I have a, a an assignment that is going to be scheduled for today at 8 a.m. So I'm going to open it. And as you can see, I have certain documents here. So I have a PowerPoint. Now, this is Microsoft PowerPoint. If I open it, it's going to come here. Now, the reason why I've been stressing that you open it in its original format is because I have the ability to voice or put my voice into Microsoft PowerPoint. You can see the icon here that there's some kind of audio file that's attached to it. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. If I open in a new window, now it's going to give me new options, and it's giving me an option to open in Google Slides. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean about that there's going to be certain features that are not going to translate well. I'm going to go ahead and open it into Google Slides, and we're in there, and automatically I'm... I am given this particular message. Some PowerPoint features cannot be displayed in Google Slides and will be dropped if you make changes. So automatically it's letting me know that there's something wrong, that if I continue, if I try to save it, that not everything is going to save properly. So let me view the details. Slides cannot display some of the features of these PowerPoints and I see that the embedded audio and video content will be removed. That means that I went ahead and with this particular PowerPoint, I put my voice on it so that way it's like a mini lesson. Instead of me making a video of me talking about the slides, I went ahead and embedded my audio or my voice into the PowerPoint itself. If I open it, which I did in Google Slides, my audio will not play. That's why you need to save it in its original format. So now I'm here again at this screen and I come to more options and I can go ahead and hit or I can go here where it says download. And now it's downloading. Now we see that the circle it's complete and I'm able to open it and voila. Microsoft PowerPoint is open. I can click on the first slide and it comes here and I can see this icon which gives me an opportunity to play the audio. So let's play it. Every slide will have an audio and that will give, so if I'm trying to give extra information just like I would do in a mini lesson and I want to explain something. There it is. You can do it that way where you can go to each slide and play the audio or you can come up here and click on slideshow and then play from start. As you can see when you play from start it's going to automatically start the audio portion of the PowerPoint slide. Now, you want to save it to your desktop or you uh, wherever you want to save it, but now you understand why it's important that you download these particular items in its original format. So let's do one more. So I am back on Google Classroom and let's say I have an assignment and I'm going to go to my class here and I'm going to pretend that I'm a student and I'm at in Miss Melinda's college office and let's say I have a document that I'm working on. So follow me down here and I'm going to open up Microsoft Office and let's say for my U.S. history class we're working on uh, FDR essay. So I'm going to type 
what it is I'm gonna type my name and I'm going to FDR essay and I'm going to start typing what it is my response or whatever it is my essay and I'm typing it and of course it's saying document 4 which is um, excuse me generic I'm gonna save as it has my name on here I'm gonna keep that because I'm gonna save it as FDR essay and now it has my name on it. So that way when I upload this document, the teacher would be able to look at it and say, oh, that document or that assignment, this completed assignment is from this student. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And FDR already exists, do you wanna replace it? I'm gonna replace it just for the purpose of this video. And now I have it, as you can see, the title has changed, FDR essay Alberto Melendez. So I'm going to exit out of here. So let's say I have an assignment and I want to upload an assignment. So right here on the stream, it says share something with your class. I'm going to open it and it gives me this opportunity to share with the class. And the biggest thing is this button right here, the add, which looks like a paper clip. So I'm going to write on here, uh, completed my essay and I'm going to add a file and this window pops up Google Drive link file YouTube so if you open a file and you saved it in Google Drive then you'll be able to find it there but I saved a Word document so I'm gonna click file and now it's giving me this window I can go ahead and search for it if I want to in let's say recent or my drive or since I saved it to my desktop here it is right here and I'm gonna click it and drag it and it's now going to save as you can see FDR SA Alberto Melendez is there I can add more files if I want but this is the one that I want to give to my teacher so I'm gonna hit upload and as you can see it went through the process now FDR SA Alberto Melendez dot docs it's a Word document. I'm able to save everything and now I upload it into the stream. The last thing you need to do is hit post. If you don't hit post, it will not save to the stream and we will teachers will not be able to see your completed work. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out because I don't want to save this. So now you have an idea of what you need to do. When it comes to PowerPoint or let's say a Word document, you have to download these items onto your desktop in its original format. If you try to open it in let's say Google Drive in either Google Docs or Google Slides, it will not translate well. You will be missing items, pictures might not appear, whole pages might not appear. As you can see with the PowerPoint, my audio was removed, so you won't be able to enjoy the full benefit of that particular PowerPoint or Word document the way it was meant for it to be viewed by you as the student. So, as you know, this is all brand new to us. We are, as teachers, we are learning at the same time you are learning. So as these ideas are popping up in my head, I'm going to be producing these videos and these videos are gonna be accessible as a YouTube video so that way you don't have to download it. All you have to do is click on the link and it will automatically shoot you to YouTube and you can be viewing it. Anyway, I hope this um, video, again, I apologize if it's long, but I wanna make sure that you understand that there are things that you can do, save your work, and upload it or look at a PowerPoint, download it in its original format and be able to view it the way the teacher intended for you to view it. Again, thank you for your time. I apologize if this video is long, but I hope you find it very informative. Take care, everyone, and enjoy your first day on in-school, quote-unquote, distant learning. Take care, everyone. Bye.